Today, Big Red's going to flatten the curve and destroy Captain Sensible. You wouldn't let it lie, would you, Adam? He should have let it lie. Adam, why didn't you just let it lie? Now, Level Earth Observer is a very busy boy, but he has taken a break from his planned series of videos where he intends to debunk evolution, the cosmic microwave background radiation and string theory, all with the use of a medium height Terex tower crane. Now, Adam's theories have about as much calorific value as the hole in the middle of a donut, but he's decided to turn his mighty intellect against me and try and respond to his busting he got a few days ago. You better take it away, Adam, and roll VT. First, let's just revisit Captain Sensible's claims regarding globe Earth curvature. The, was it the Verrazano Bridge, the, the towers, um, which it, both which are perpendicular, but actually are further apart at the top than the bottom? Yep, and I stand by every word I just said, Adam. I think it's perfectly clear to anybody who speaks English, but let's see how much understanding you have of what I just said. So our friend here, Captain Sensible, claims the Verrazano Bridge Towers are not entirely plumb. They're not true all the way up. They're leaning back away from each other. Adam, go back and listen to that clip again. I did not say that they were not plumb. I did not say that they were not true. And I did not say that they are leaning away from each other. They are plumb. They are true. They are perpendicular. They are upright. They are at 90 degrees to the surface. But the tops of them are further away from each other than the bottoms because of the curve of the Earth. They're still true. The fact that you can't understand plain English is your problem, not mine. It's a good job you're a crane driver and not a chef, otherwise you would still be struggling in boiling an egg. Never mind the fact that the, the water underneath the bridge will never show curvature, convexity upon its surface. Well, I understand, Adam, that you just got another reaming from Where's Wally about this. He calculated that the curve in the water between those two towers would give you a hump of about 33 millimetres. How on earth do you think you're going to see that on that photograph? <laughs> he's ignoring that, but he's assuming, if that is true, of course, from an engineering point of view, he believes that's because of curve. I destroyed that. Well, I checked, Adam, and on the destruction scale, your video did about as much damage to me as a bug does to a car when it goes splat on the windscreen. I destroyed that by giving a side profile of a tower crane, showing the A-frame, which was a great way to highlight it, highlighting the fact that cranes without a load on in the neutral position lean back slightly. Only you didn't, did you, Adam? You didn't mention cranes leaning back slightly. I'll let you carry on and then I'll show you. And a good example of seeing that would be in the cat head in which I showed there. And of course, I also went on to highlight the fact the reason it's done that and it's all calibrated is through the counterweight and the cat head, depending on what type of tower crane it is. So let's have a listen to what you said in your previous video. And here's a prime example. We've got a tower crane. We can see the tower comes up near enough straight. Okay, tower comes up near enough straight. But when we get above the cab, we can see it reduces. Uh-huh, above the cab it reduces. And comes back in an area known as the cat head or the A-frame. And that was what I was addressing, the cat head and the A-frame, which you had claimed is there in order to counter the weight. It's not, it's there for strengthening purposes. But all this is by the by, because that has nothing to do with Earth curve and nothing to do with the Verrazano Narrows towers being further away at the top than the bottom. But you just don't get it. Do you, Adam? But essentially, I cited this image and destroyed Captain Sensible's argument. But rather than put his hand up and go fair dues, that's a valid point, cranes are leaning back. But you didn't say that, did you, Adam? Had you said that, I'd have said, yeah, they do. So the question actually now is, Adam, will you hold up your hands, say, fair dues, Mr. Sensible was correct, 
the A-frame is not there to counter the weight, it is there for strength. I won't hold my breath though, Adam. But rather than admit that, which most people would, this man doubled down. Well, I would hardly say I doubled down as it was the first time I had discussed it, but I'm doubling down now, Leo. The thing is, so are you. The difference is, I'm right and you're wrong. Not only did I destroy that with my previous video, but I'm absolutely going to annihilate it here. Yes, this is you having a moment of realisation as Big Red enters our lives. Is Big Red any relation to Nathan Oakley's Big Purple? This is Big Red, a 300 foot tall flat top crane. Captain Sensible sighted a flat top crane. So what better type of crane to use to destroy not only the globe argument, the Verrazano bridge argument, but also Captain Sensible himself. Them is fighting words, boy. So you're going to destroy the globe? The fact that the Verrazano narrows bridge towers are further apart at the top than the bottom? And me! Bring it on! And it's as easy as this. Big Red has just built this very tall tower block building. Big Red is right next to the tower block it's just built. And if we look at the bottom of the gap between the tower of Big Red and the building, it's quite slim. But when we come further up the tower to Big Red, the gap widens between Big Red's tower and the building it's just built. Why is that? Because Big Red is leaning back. It's not working today. It's in its neutral position and the crane's still leaning back slightly away from the building. Oh, you tit! I saw my arm and I was so scared! Look. What? That's it? Adam, I'm quite happy to agree that the tower crane leans back when it's not working, sort of preloaded, ready for its first weight. But that's not what we were talking about. We were talking about the cat's head and it being strengthening in order to pick up larger loads. How exactly do you think that the tower leaning back debunks the globe? How do you think that that debunks the Verrazano Narrows towers being further apart at the top? And how exactly do you think it debunks me? Destroying the argument that the Verrazano Bridge Towers were leaning away because of curve? No. They were leaning away slightly, if that is the case, to take the weight better, just like Big Red is here. So Adam, your response video is nothing but straw manning me. You're claiming that you busted me because I didn't understand that tower cranes lean backwards when that wasn't even mentioned in your first video. It was all about the cat's head. And now you're saying that this Big Red Tower, which is leaning backwards slightly, busts the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. But what I noticed, Adam, is you haven't addressed at all all the information I gave you as to why suspension bridge towers don't need to lean. Let's have a quick recap. Here's our basic bridge. And as it stands, yes, you would get those lateral forces. So draw a mirror line in the center of the bridge and reflect it outwards to each end. That's better. And it looks more like a suspension bridge, doesn't it? So each side of each tower, you've got an approach and half of the main span. Now, Adam, I'd like to give you 10 seconds to think about it and why that's important, but that time won't help you, so I'll just tell you. Now, each side of the tower, you've got the same mass of bridge, the same force, pulling left, pulling right. So the sum of those forces is zero. So as the towers aren't being pulled in one direction or the other, they don't need to lead a way to counteract it. I shouldn't have to explain this, but I got called a liar, a cheat, a fraud, people double down on the lies and then misrepresenting my claims. Please show me, Adam, where in my video I called you a liar, a cheat, a fraud or misrepresented any claims. Actually, that's exactly what you have done because in your response video, you were talking about the tower leaning, but in the original video, you weren't. As for cheating, how about the fact that you have me blocked so I can't respond to any of the comments on your channel. How about the fact you call me Captain Sensible and don't give a link to either my channel or the video so people would be looking for the wrong name. I'd call that dishonest, underhand, cheating, straw manning, being a general ass. It's leaning back slightly. I wonder why so it can take a weight better in front of it. 
It's from engineering purposes. Just like the bridge, just like the crane, we've destroyed Captain Sensible, the globe arguments regarding bridges, and the globe in general. Not difficult, another easy day. Smashing the pantomime that is the globe. Have a good one. Adam, this is the final time I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to adjust this explanation to your level of dumb. Right, a tower crane is a single tower. When it tries to pick up a weight, it will want to topple over, so it has a counterbalancing weight on the other side. In order to give it a bit of an advantage, it starts off, when it's not under load, with a slight lean backwards. All that is fine and has nothing to do with a cat set. With a suspension bridge, there's an equal force pulling on each direction of each of the towers, so it's not going to want to topple over in any direction. They are vertical, plumb, perpendicular at 90 degrees to the surface of the earth, and yet still, they're further apart at the top than they are at the bottom. And what is more, my precious little plum pudding, the cables are not even fastened at the top. They're in effect slung over it. All the force is downwards. You are busted, Adam. So let's hear what you have to say about this. about what I expected. Adam, if you want to try and bust me again, I suggest that first of all you invest in an English to crane driver dictionary in order to help with translation. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.